I think this is a very good way to reach out to women to say that uh, look good, feel good, always don't have not let anyone anything. dampen your spirit. Yeah. Um, you know, we are very courageous. Women themselves are very strong, very courageous. Do not let anyone dampen you, put you down in any way. Yeah, at all. absolutely. Welcome back to my channel. So today I actually have somebody here who is a um, domestic violence survivor. So as it's domestic um, violence awareness month, we thought we'll kind of educate you guys about some of the things people go through and some of the things somebody went through herself. Um, and we're just going to do a very simple everyday makeover um, while I ask her some questions that you might have as well for her. Um, somebody. Tell me a little bit about, you know, I don't want to keep calling you a survivor because I'm, I'm, you know, extremely proud of you that you came out of it. But what do you do now? Like, because um, I know you're doing something amazing for WAO. <laughs> <you? laughs> yes. So um, I took up um, a short training mm -hmm. um, course, I would say a workshop, um, and uh, it's a crisis support officer. I wanted to do this back for, for WA for Women's Aid Organization because uh, I did not know lots of things and um, WAO had um, indirectly taught me and made me think that what I'm going through as a survivor, at that time a victim, I would continue being in that, that same cycle. Mm -hmm. So it was a poster that I saw and I thought now that I'm out of it, I should. How long has it been since you've been out of it? Five years. Okay, wow. So um, what I do now is Besides being a CSO and press support officer for WAO, I have started to uh, create awareness, educate the general public. So I go out there, I'm invited for talks. Uh, I am an advocate, I could say that, an ambassador, an advocate for WAO. So why, what do you normally think is sort of like a sign um, where you know, okay, this could potentially go in that direction? I, I think um, when I was married or when I was in a relationship, what I did not know is what many uh, women do not know. It's not that they are naive, but we tend to take that as something that is normal. Uh, example, controlling behavior, I think that is the early morning sign. Mm -hmm. Controlling behavior, every time I go for a talk, every time, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. Because you're reminded of everything. I relive, yeah. <laughs> I relive those memories. I relive the, the memories that I don't want to even think about. Um, so coming out of his, coming out of the marriage is one thing, coming out of the abuse is one thing, but um, gaining control of your life is another thing. And, After and moving, that's yes, exactly. And moving forward is something else. But having to move forward and then looking back every now and then is completely different. So, but I told this. I told this to myself, I said, um, I told this, if my tears crying again because I'm thinking about something I don't want to, it's going to put a smile on someone else's face, I'll do it, I'll cry a million tears That's to help amazing. another person to come out of it. But right yeah. now, what you're doing for me, <laughs> and this is, this is nice, because this is the same face that was punched and slapped and was not allowed to use cosmetics or, or anything on the face. I was not allowed to even use an eyeliner. So that's how that's, that's how, how it, do you feel now that you're doing this makeup. I don't know. <laughs> it's nice. Um, you already you're looking great. <laughs> <right. laughs> it's nice, of course it's nice. It's yeah. nice to feel wanted, it's nice to feel appreciated, it's nice to feel loved, it's nice to feel it's nice to even look good to, to do this yourself and say, hey, you want to look good. Yeah. So it's nice that someone is teaching me mm -hmm. and teaching others. Yeah. You, know, you can look good, you can feel good. Yeah. And it's not wrong to feel good or to look good. And if someone okay. is telling, don't feel good, uh, it's wrong to feel good, it's wrong to look good, then I think that, no, 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 just, you have to come out of it. I, yeah. I've been there. Yeah. And this does not make them happy, definitely. Does not make the, the perpetrator happy, he just wants to control you. I have been struggling for so many years with abuse and uh, different sorts of abuse as well. 
I tried to reach out for help. Everyone had told me um, the first question: was, Why does he hit you? Why are you beaten? As if I am supposed to be hit if I had done anything wrong at all. So why is not even a question? And this came from family and friends, family, friends, relatives, everyone. Yeah. No one said no for whatever reason. No, you're not supposed to be touched the way that way. No, no one said that. Mm -hmm. It was more of well, why? Don't do it then. You know, if, if you're using if the eyeliner here yes, or whatever, to, right? Don't, don't do it. Yeah. So I always blamed myself. But deep down, I always knew that this is not right. But I did not know where to go or what to do because everyone else was saying, uh, correct yourself. Yeah. Oh, he would change in time. He's not going to be like this. Oh, probably it's a work tension. Oh, think about the kids. Finding excuses. Yes. All the time. Yes. Think about the kids. Yeah. They wouldn't have a father. So what I did was to take matters in my own hands, and I thought, okay, the one way I can get out of this uh, abuse is through education. Mm -hmm. Trying to progress and getting a job because that's the first thing I wanted to do. To to get a job, I'm not allowed to, to be. Work. Oh, okay. So to be independent. To be independent, yes. To have a career, yes. 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 To have an income. Mm -hmm. And uh, with a lot of struggle, again with a lot of meetings, I furthered my studies at the university. And then there was this one day I was just walking uh, along to get into the car, my friend's car, and uh, I saw the poster glasses of the university and I looked at it and it showed the cycle of violence. It caught my eye. Okay. I stopped. I looked at it harder and I just stared at it for a while because I thought, oh my gosh, is, is that what I'm going through? My God, because there are other people out there who go through the same for a poster to be pasted on and a glass. I'm sure that others who have gone through the same so they can find so I'm not imagining things so I'm not uh, uh, like what people say he's going to change that's not going to happen because the cycle yeah. of violence says and so clear that there's honeymoon phase where it's so nice I always call him the hero Shah Rukh Khan times <laughs> really you know it's only short of singing duets around the house but if there was a tree probably he'd run around the tree and that's what that's that's how it went to the extreme of being this romantic hero Almost like good to be to the Oh be. yes, yes, this Prince Charming. Uh, the gifts and the, and the words and everything that he says and does. And then after that, there's this shift to that, <clears throat> that period of time, that phase, where tension builds. So that's when he becomes verbally abusive, emotionally abusive. There's no hitting just yet, but you know it's coming close. Mm -hmm. And when I saw that poster, it, it was a shock to know that, um, just amazing, how it related to what I'm going through. Yeah. And then I knew I was not alone. I mean, would, does that mean domestic violence means it always ends up with physical abuse? Yes. Okay. I think um, abuse or domestic violence does not only, um, only mean physical. It, it can range from being uh, verbally abusive. I yeah. think that's that's very painful to body shame you. How um, I should be um, grateful to him that he had oh. married me. <laughs> yeah. but that's what they would say though, isn't it? It's like, oh, you should be so lucky yes, to be yes, with somebody yes. like that. Yes, and how black I am. Black is the word he used. Not how dark, but how black. I used to be called Blackie all the time uh, because of my appearance, my colour. And that made me feel, you see, this may not physically show any uh, scars or any, any but it's also evidence, it's very, but it's very psychological, it's very emotional and it's very, it is mentally devastating for the person who's listening because once you actually listen to it over years, you, start, you start believing, believing it. it. You yeah. start believing. I don't look good. Just I'm not good. Sorry, and you can still oh. continue to look sorry. I don't look good enough. I'm not beautiful. You actually become shy of your own self. Mm -hmm. You become embarrassed to be who you are. Of course. And you don't self-esteem just yes, up the yes, yes. It it just it crushes you. 
precious. You don't want to see anyone eye to eye because you know you don't look good. You know you're no one. You know you're not. You are nothing. And to feel nothing is terrible. Yeah. You are not. You are never ever wrong enough to be eaten. Yeah. Never ever. So it, it is. No one health. should. No one should yes. ever have that as yes. a punishment for yes. anything. Doesn't matter how bad you yes. think. And uh, just just the call away. That is it. Yeah. And sorry. And sometimes we, we think what's gonna happen after that. Now the first thing to do is to take the first step. I would all I always thought, what will I do after that? Exactly. What would happen after if if in case I got the, the divorce because he has threatened to kill me, he says. He told if me you this. Divorce him. Yes, yes. Okay. If you ever leave me, I would come after you. I would look for you. I will kill you because I, only I and I alone can own you. I think if you're able to make the call, you you get uh, the proper channel for the proper people to help you through counselling, to people who can show you love and show acceptance. You'll find the person that the, the, yeah. the you that you the, get, you, the yeah. person that you lost yes. somewhere yes. along yes. Um, this horrible ordeal. Yes. Um, yeah, no, thank you, thank you so much for this story. And we, you know, in that in that time, we did a little mini makeover as well. Um, and I think you know, I really hope that we've done something here where we've. Um, you know anybody watching or if you know anybody that's going through something very similar or similar symptoms and stuff please do seek the help we are going to add the hotline to a women's um, aid organization in the description box as well as the products that I've used um, I wanted somebody to um, obviously talk and um, explain to you guys some of the steps as well and you know some of that passive experiences and you do give a lot of these talks as well yes, in do. general I okay do. through WAO yeah yes Okay, awesome. So yeah, we'll put all the information in the description box as well. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching and um, yeah, please reach out to these guys. Um, they they definitely have more experience than I do. I'm just very good at makeup. <laughs> Thank you again. Bye. Bye.